Hi everyone, Alistair here from alistairgirl.com and today I've just got a short video which is going to walk you through the steps to set up a new goal within Google Analytics and the example we're going to use is tracking how many people sign up to my MailChimp email subscription list. So on my home page, if you scroll down a little bit you'll see there's an option to join the list and if you click that button it takes you to the sign up form so this is the MailChimp sign up form and a visitor can enter their name and email address, address and then when they click subscribe to list they actually get redirected to a custom page that I've set up and that custom page is almost there and it just reminds them that they need to go to their inbox and click that link that MailChimp sends out to confirm their subscription. Once they go to their email and click the link they then get redirected again to a second custom page which is subscription confirmed, which then thanks them and gives them some information about how to get their free ebook. So I'm going to use these pages to track how many people are signing up to my mailing list and I'm going to create a funnel that shows me how many people fill the form in, how many people get to the almost there page and how many people get to the subscription confirmed page. So I'm going to go to Google Analytics and at the top I'm going to click the admin option and you'll see I've got three columns account, property and view so under view you'll see an option for goals click that and I'm going to pick the option, the big button to create a new goal now Google Analytics does give you some templates so you can select one of these if it fits the goal you're trying to create I'm going to go straight to custom and that will give me four choices destination, duration, pages per session or event and in this case I know it's a destination goal so I'm going to select that I'll give my goal a name, something that reminds me what it is so in this case I'm going to call it MailChimp signups and then I'm going to click next step it's then going to ask me for the destination URL that indicates that somebody has completed the goal so in my example this was the subscription confirmed page once somebody reaches this page they've actually confirmed their subscription and they're on the list so I'm going to paste that URL into there now it does tell you underneath it's quite helpful but you only need the section of the URL from after the root domain so you can delete that out so it should just be slash whatever your URL is now you can enter a value for a goal if this was say a thank you page because somebody had bought your service or your product you can actually turn this on and enter a monetary value and then Google Analytics will track how much money you're making as well and kind of where the people are coming from that are buying your things it's quite useful but in this example because it's simply an email subscription I'm not going to assign a value so I'm going to leave that off I am however going to use the funnel option so we turn this on and this lets me specify the preceding steps that somebody has to take in order to complete the goal so the first step is they have to visit the home page because that's where the sign up button is and I know that that's simply a slash because again we don't need the root domain before it I'm then going to add another step so this is the almost there page and if we enter the URL for that Again, don't need the root domain, so we'll delete that. And that's it. So now Google Analytics will create me a funnel of how many people go to the home page, then to the almost there page, and then to the subscription confirmed page. Now you can click verify this goal and it will try to calculate how many conversions you've had in the past seven days. However, there's not always enough data to do that, so if it doesn't work, don't worry. Um, simply click create goal and Google Analytics has created a goal so you can see their name of the goal how many conversions and whether it's on or off and then if you wanted to see how many conversions you've had obviously there won't be any on this because it's a new goal that I've just set up but you would go back to the main view in Google Analytics scroll down to conversions and goals overview and when that report loads 
you can choose which goal you're interested in. So in this case, MailChimp signups. And it will show you how many per day, how many completions you've had. The value would be entered there if, if you specified that when you set the goal up, conversion rate, abandonment rate. So that's how you see how many completions you've had. And then you can see where the people came from that signed up, etc. So I hope this video has been useful. Let me know if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching.